Hey class. Hey Terry, what's up? Lyrical ballads? I love lyrical ballads. Wish you would step out from that ledge, my friend. Oh. Yeah, you're probably right. Oh, you meant the one by Wordsworth. Yeah, I can do that. You know, I wasn't too far off base with the Third Eye Blind reference. Wordsworth wrote in his prefix to his lyrical ballads that he had a similar desire, to write poetry in the language of normal people. It was a concept that he knew would be divisive at the time. Most poetry was more formal, more regal, more fancy. He describes an unspoken contract between reader and poet of the era, one that he felt he was breaking with this new poetry, hence why he felt the need to write this prefix. Wordsworth felt that poetry was better served in the language of the men and women that would read it, everyday, normal language. He felt that this would make it more relatable, and therefore easier to be moved by the meter and sensual imagery. Let's take an excerpt from Simon Lee, for example. In the fifth stanza, he writes, And he is lean, and he is sick. His body, dwindled and awry, rests upon ankles, swollen and thick. His legs are thin and dry. One prop he has, and only one, his wife, an aged woman, lives with him near the waterfall, upon the village common. Now, most of the, that just elicits this really beautiful imagery of, you know, waterfalls and this kind of old man and all gangly and gross, but the, the language used is, you know, very very natural, very what we would say in normal day conversation. Lean, sick, uh, his ankles are swollen, he's got thick ankles. These are just examples of what Woods, Wordsworth was trying to accomplish with his, what some would say, dumbed down language. He mourned the lack of reverence for the writers who accomplished this before, writers such as Milton and Shakespeare. Wordsworth understood the importance of recapturing this language of the people. He proceeded to write further in his prefix about the importance of poets. He wrote about the duty placed on the shoulders of poets to elicit emotion and feelings in people. Wordsworth also wrote that poetry is the breath and finer spirit of all knowledge, giving poets the job as the gatekeepers to these things. The grandiose language barred access to the gifts of knowledge and emotion, and Wordsworth was determined with his lyrical ballads to destroy those bars and give access to the more common man.